fireworks, huh? Who are you? I'm your guardian angel. Here's a bolt. Why the hell would I need a bolt? Take a look around. Oh, crap. Yep. Toss it into the anomaly, then while it resets, run like hell. Got it? Now go. <clears throat> Okay, I didn't really know, but I sure hoped you would. <laughs> How'd you get here without any gear? I was attacked while on a job. I got hit in the head, and when I woke up, I was in almost nothing but my birthday suit. You're lucky they didn't kill you right away. You should stop by Zalisa and check up with the doc man, and talk to the bartender while you're there. See if he knows anything about your attackers. Damn it, man. You wanted to settle some scores, didn't you? Shit. The timing couldn't be any worse. Bastard shot him at point blank, then took everything, even the sensors. Fuck. Now the entire lesser zone is gonna have to clean up this mess. Why is your ass still here? Head over to Zalicia and keep your mouth shut. Unless you want both of us killed. If you have any questions, be quick. If anyone spots you here, the whole ward will come after you. These... Wardens... Who are they? The Ward Guard Circa, that big-ass institute at the swamps. Or so they say. In truth, they control nearly the entire zone. Duty and freedom couldn't hold a candle to the Ward. They tried to resist, but... Korshinov put them in their place quick enough. He made sure they wouldn't mess with the New World Order. Anyway, stay away from the Ward. And... Don't mention this around them, obviously. Who are you, anyway? An ordinary stalker. I used to be a guide. Took people all around the zone. Then I got lost, in every meaning of the word. So it's probably not a good idea to stick around me for long. What sensors did you mention? A warden gadget. It records everything around the squad like a black box. We're lucky not every warden gets one. If it ends up in the wrong hands, or worse, in the right hands... You help everybody, or am I somehow special? To quote my fictional dad, Son, help if you can, and if you can't, don't get in the way. So, don't get in the way. Or help, if you will. My men at the post office need a hand. Bring them a couple of med kits. You'll do good and make some friends, maybe.
anything gonna help you? Come on over. Let's have a chat. You fucked them up pretty good, eh? <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to step in for me. That's rarer than Mama's beats around here. Normally, folks in the zone just walk past other people's troubles. They've got their own shit to deal with. You are new around here, ain't ya? Richter sent me here. Do you know him? Sure I do. He came here with Squint, our leader. He used to be a guide, so he knows the area. And like any guide, he's got your back on the road, but don't count on him jumping into a firefight with you. Best you can hope for is he sends some help your way. I might be pushing my luck here, but could you lend me a hand with something else? All right, let's hear it. There's four of us at the boiler house, not far from here. Squint, Richter, Gloomy, and myself. Squint is the leader. Richter is his right-hand man. And we just joined Spa... Uh, a group. Squint and Richter took off somewhere in the morning, and then me and Gloomy got ambushed by those bandits. I, uh, uh, managed to make a tactical retreat, but the bastards took Gloomy. I don't know what they are doing to him, but I doubt they are throwing him a party. We need to rescue him and make those thugs regret it. Gloomy will find a way to return the favor. How many of those guys are there? About five, give or take. I have seen you in action. You can handle them easy. And if your conscience bothers you, trust me, they wouldn't have spared you or Gloomy if the tables were turned. All right. I'll do it. For real? Dude, you rock. Don't worry, I won't just send you there empty-handed. I've got a stash close by. It's got everything you need. A gun, some ammo, the whole shebang. Whatever you don't use, consider it yours. Just make sure you've got Gloomy's back, all right? They tried. That's the zone for you. Take care out there. And, uh, try not to hit Gloomy, alright? He may be a son of a bitch, but he's still my bro. I 
I gotta move! Get over here, ya pussy! sent you? Richter or that asshole Jorik? Jorik asked me to get you out of here. He asked you to wipe his ass, that's what he did. You think those goons were brought down here by the emission? Jorik lost a wad of cash playing cards and garbage, and figured he could hide out here. Well, the fucker wasn't completely wrong. They didn't get him. They got me! What you looking at? Expecting a reward? Check the pogs. I'm just glad they left me my suit. Wait a sec. They didn't take the detector! Those scumbags think they're too good to dive into anomalies looking for artifacts. Easier to shake down a loner on his way out. Assholes. I've already got a detector. Well, congrats. Now you've got two. Do I look like a department store to you? Fine, fine. I left my backpack in the cave. Go have a look. If you find anything useful, it's yours. Unless the bandits beat you to it, of course. Thanks for the help, stalker. But don't count on anyone standing up for you if you run into trouble. You'll be better off that way. All right, you stupid asshole! Get over here! Chloe, you have no idea how good I am. Why don't you come a little closer? Let me get a better idea. Uh, I've got something I need to take care of, so... Why don't you take a breather and cool off? I'll be right back. Dumbass.
Hey, man. The zone's a scary place. Not because you get to face mutants or anomalies. No. It makes you face yourself. And then you gotta live with whatever yourself is. So long. I'm looking for Sauter. Nope. Talk to Gaffer. That's him over there. What do you want? Sit down and stay out of sight. Three of my men never reported back from their overnight patrol around the Lesser Zone. We found their bodies by the old bridge. Hey, soldier, over here. What do you call three dead wardens up the zone's ass? A good start. <laughs> <laughs> the traitor who goes by a hamster is peddling this service weapon that belonged to one of those wardens. He got it from Squint. Apologies, Captain, but Zalicia is a free trade zone. We have an agreement with Korshal. Where is Squint? The zone has its share of secrets. Who are we to meddle in its designs? Playing a wise and stalker sage, are you? Fine. Squint was there for sure. He finished off the wounded and looted their bodies. Is that the stalker away now? Who am I to judge? If you won't tell me, others will. Seize them! Easy now. Nobody's going anywhere. If you don't want the innocent to suffer, find me the culprit. Well then, in times of war, the law falls silent. Hey, Stalker! Must have been you here. Come over here. Let's have a chat. That's how we're all here in Zalicia. This maniacs are gonna drink all my vodka in the street. If anyone asks, I'm at home and busy. Anyone at all? Anyone. Don't buy into that whole dog and pony show, rookie. Gaffer's been uppity, cause it's out of Latson. Of course enough was here instead of him. Would have been standing against the wall already. The captain prefers a more diplomatic approach. So, who should I ask about Sodder? Try Zodov. The ward can find anyone you want as long as you can cut a deal with them. And you're okay with their methods. Or you could ask Gaffer. Just give him some time to get to his house. He's an easy young guy. He usually helps rookies out, but he's had to deal with a year's worth of crap today. See ya. Good luck. First drinks on the house if you need it. And I get the feeling you're gonna need it. I don't feel like running errands. Got anything good? 
You still smell like the mainland, tough guy. Feeling bold and audacious already, huh? All right. There's a guy, kind of like you, who owes me some coin. His name is Valik Lummox. I need my money back. How much does he owe you? Plenty. He failed to pay up after a wild night. For some supplies before that, too. And he doesn't seem to give a damn. Knows I'm not gonna make a fuss about it. It's not about the money, really. The kid needs to learn the ways of the zone. The sooner he learns, the longer he lives. Maybe. What kind of man is this Valak Lomax guy? He's new to the zone, but he already made a name for himself. He's one sharp asshole, not afraid of risks. Always full of white plants. Kinda liked the guy. Thought he would go far. He went too far. Got himself a new gun, and I'm still mopping about how to set him straight. Sure. I can handle it. I saw him just a couple of hours ago. He headed north, towards the water tower. I don't want his blood on my hand. Just scare the kid, shake him down, and get my money. And that's it. 20% is yours. Hey, stalker! Come over here, rookie. We need to talk. Here's the deal. I'm ready to pass some stalker wisdom onto you. Right here, right now. And totally free of charge. Interested? Who could turn down such a generous offer? I'm all ears. Back on the mainland, Mom and Dad were the most important people in the world, right? But here in the zone, it's the tech and the trader. And their love comes with a price tag. Loot or coupons. Got it? I was hoping for something a little more practical. You think they're clever, huh? Fresh off the perimeter and you've already figured everything out. Well, go ahead. Show us what you've got. Here are the coordinates for our tech, Lent, and Hamster the trader. Chat them up. If you've got coupons, buy something. If not, check in with Warlock for a gig. He's usually got something going. One more thing. If you find yourself in a dust-up with any of the factions, pay their boss a visit. Conflict is a part of life in the zoo, but there's always a way to resolve it. Always better off with a lousy piece than an awesome firefight, get it? Anyway, once you've mingled with the locals, hit the road. Just don't bother me again. No one else is gonna help you for free in this neck of the woods. Least of all me. That's it, finally. I've settled my tab with Gaffer. 